Hey everybody, what's up? It's Dextros and I am back pretty much officially. The only thing I'm having an issue with is my headset now and uh, I'm using my phone, phone to record the audio so we're going to see how this plays out um, until I can get a new headset. Uh, I use the HyperX Cloud Edition with the 33.5mm uh, jack adaptions in the back and it, uh, the Y adaption that hooks up to the HyperX Cloud is apparently broken. So until all that new part gets here, I'm going to be using my phone for audio. So hopefully it works out. I'm going to try and sync it to the best of my ability. But today we're doing a reboot of the video of Hype Reddit because uh, a couple comments I got was how do you install it for people that don't know how to put mods in, things of that nature. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. Um, first things first, you're going to go to Hype Reddit. Uh, I actually have to re-get the folders. I don't have it. I already have Hype Reddit installed though, but we'll walk through the process. Go to Hype Reddit, uh, scroll down. It should, should be the first page. And you're going to download... Uh, this one right either this one right here or this one it's up to you whichever version you're using and feel comfortable with I'm using this one because I am running 1.0.5 so I'm going to use the hyper edit version 1.4.2 download it it'll go to your downloads file where you can uh, pick it up and you're going to have two folders in there one's going to be called game data the other's going to be a hyper edit readme that readme will tell you how to put it in but in case you're watching this video you don't want to read that's what that file's for don't worry about it you, all you need right now is that game data file. From there, you're going to go to your documents. I need to open up another panel there, File Explorer, Windows 10. I'm still getting used to it. From there, you're going to go to, where is it? This PC, local disk. You're going to go to the program files times 86. Not the regular program files. You want to go program files times 86. You're going to look for the Steam folder if you have it with Steam. If you don't have it with Steam, I'm not sure if it's the same process of putting things in probably not I don't know how to put it in unless you have steam so uh, yeah from there you're going to look for if I can remember the name it was steam apps you are gonna go to steam apps you're going to go to common from common you're gonna look for Kerbal Space Program uh, which is it should be organized so Kerbal Space Program and then you're going to get all these folders that pop up. Plugins, resources, saves, screenshots, ships, blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm just going to do this. You're going to open up that game data folder because you can't put the game data folder, the whole thing where it says game data, into the game data folder for Kerbal Space Program. You need to have it separate. So from there, you're just going to go to the where it says Kerbal Tech. And if you look in, it's got the flags, the plugin data, and the hype reddit, the DLL, which is what you need. You're going to take the Kerbal Tech folder, drag it over to the Game Data folder, and drop it in. I'm not going to do that because I already have it in, but you're going to drop it in, and it will be in your Game Data file. So, that is how you install it. Now, from there, I already have Kerbal Space Program up, so you're going to go to Kerbal Space Program, hit Start, I'm going to go to a file that I already have going. My frames may drop a little bit because I was messing with the graphics the other day. I'm, I'm going to have to drop them real quick when we get in-game. But, uh... Yeah, if you guys can hear that, that's uh, Revly playing at my base. Sorry about that, but it's nice to have in the background. All right. Yeah, you can tell the frames are dropping. Let's see if I can change that real quick. I can't while I'm in here. All right, it'll have to do. So, resume. To open up, here, I'll get it cracked up. We'll use the Super Heavy Lander. Yeah, I was playing around with it earlier. I was uh, having some fun. Waiting for the 1.1 update. I can't wait for that to come out. That's going to be some pretty interesting stuff. I did get a chance to see gameplay of uh, what Kerbal Space Program would look like in the Unreal Engine. That was pretty awesome. Alright, so once you have your craft up and you want to send it into space, what you're going to do is you're going to hit Alt and then H, and that will bring up this Hyper Edit menu. Now, the options that it gives you is Close All, Orbit Editor, Planet Editor, Ship Lander, Misc Tools, and About. Not going to worry about the About, but we are going to focus on Orbit Editor, because that's what's going to put you in orbit with your ship. Um, complex, if you are somebody who can do the math, figure out all these different things like your inclination, your eccentricity, your semi-major axis, all that stuff, and you can get that math down, by all means, use complex. Graphical, again, 
If you know how to use it, because you're a smart guy, smarter than me, go ahead and use it. Velocity, I tend not to mess with it, but if you need a ship to go a wee bit faster while you're trying to dock or something, you can use it, but be careful with it. Um, what we're going to be going over is simple and rendezvous. So, with that, when you come into the orbit editor, you're going to have an altitude. You can set it, or you're going to, sorry, you're going to have select. Currently editing active vessel. Hit select. Obviously, it's going to be active vessel. Just double click it, make sure, because sometimes it's not what it has to be. Uh, reference body, it's going to be whatever planet you wanted to go to. So if you wanted to go to Duna, you wanted to go to Ike, Jewel, Leith, Val, Bop, Tylo, wherever you want to go, you can put that as the reference body. So whenever you hit apply, that is going to set it to the planet. It's going to send it up there wherever it needs to be. Um, I'm going to set it. We'll go to Duna. We'll go to Duna. Duna, I'm, I tend to set the altitude a little bit higher, 120,000. I hit apply, and it brings you to Duna. It brings you right around what you want, maybe one or that, one or two, a little less, and you're in orbit around Duna, which I haven't been to Duna since I think point nine zero, and this looks really good right now. I have no graphic mods installed. I want to say that right now, and that looks to me it looks fantastic, even though it is kind of blurry. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the Space Center. We're going to leave that there. Uh, HyperEdit comes in very handy when you are trying to rendezvous very, very much. Because instead of having to go through all this, again, unless you're a genius, math and process of trying to get the right orbit where you're going to intercept and you're going to have time to actually dock, you can just do this. Launch another one of those. Another super heavy lander. Take a second to load here. Hit Alt H again. Orbit editor. Select active vessel. Sometimes that happens. Just select the active vessel. It'll get you what you need. Rendezvous. Now you don't need to set anything. All you need is a leading time. Now the leading time, I don't know exactly what measurement it's doing it in but if you set it to one it's going to set you a, quite a way i think it's like a mile away from the actual ship you're trying to rendezvous with so i'm going to set my target to the super heavy lander that is around duna right now and i tend to put the lead time at like 0 0.04 0 0.03 and try it it might have been a little too close maybe where is it okay that's actually pretty good and then if i wanted to 0 0.02 see what happens see it's right there so then you can just dock it and not have to even worry about it. Because you can just turn them and RS into them, RCS into them. So that is the rendezvous. Now, I'm going to show you guys the planet editor. I don't really mess with the planets much, but it's essentially the same thing as the ship editor. It'll change the orbits of planets, which can be pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it gives me option let me see uh, da, 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 da. I'll take this little probe out <laughs> alright so alt h planet editor Select body. Okay, so you're going to select the body. Uh, I want something. We're, we'll play with the moon. Mun, sorry. Um, okay, so you can you can play with its gravity to make it have higher gravity so you don't go flying off into space. You can give it an atmosphere. You can give it an atmosphere that contains oxygen, ocean, atmosphere depth. Pretty much you can turn the moon, the mun, into a planet itself. But that's not what I want to do. I'm not going to mess with it, but that's essentially what it is. So it makes it a little... So if you want to send a ship with parachutes to the moon instead of having to, fu to freaking uh, rock it down, do like a suicide burn in last minute, you can play with this stuff. Uh, so I'm not going to touch that because I don't want to mess with the, any of the planets right now. Here's the fun one. Here's where I need to go to the heavy lander. That's why I took a heavy lander out. This is the ship lander. This can come in very handy when you are trying to get that precise spot to land on a planet. So where's Duna at? Come here, Duna. There it is. Got it. 
Super Heavy Lander, da da da, fly. Okay, so, Alt H, Ship Lander. So, you don't have to know latitude and longitude to actually know this, but you can set your altitude. So if you want it to come in at the same height every time, 20, it'll put it. It'll put your craft 20 feet, I'm just gonna say feet, above the ground, no matter where it is, even if it's on a mountain hill, wherever it is, it's gonna put it 20 feet above the ground there. So it has, and it'll put it at a speed of one meter a second. So that perfect time to actually come down. Um, the cool thing that it has is set to current. So this is what it does. It sets it to current. Those massive numbers up there are your latitude and longitude that you're going to land at. Even though we're currently moving away from it, it's going to stay there and you can hit land here. So if you wanted to, I would change the longitude maybe one and you could bring the other lander there or you could drop the lander in the same spot maybe a little bit higher and just rcs it a little ways away but i don't play with that much so let's do land here last time i did this in the video if y'all see it did it again this time it didn't crash it but it What did you do? Set to current. Save. Don't save. Load. No? Okay, well, still an issue with HypeReddit then. What it should do is put you 20 feet above the atmosphere, but it doesn't want to do that anymore. So I'm going to tab out of this real quick to the other lander because that annoys that makes me sad I was hoping that was fixed <sighs> alright well that's what the ship lander is supposed to do eventually if you, f if you time warp it which you can't do until you're under a certain amount of feet it will uh, let's see if I can RCS it No, that's the, no, that's not the one I want. Oh, this one. Oh, there it is. Yeah, and that's the one thing that it does do. It affects your speed and keeps it at a constant until you hit the actual ground. So I'll probably put in a bug report for that. But that's what that is supposed to do, is land you wherever you set it to be. So that kind of makes me sad, but I'll live with it. I'll deal with it, because I still love this program, because it helps me out so much. Now, in MISC tools, you have Align SMAS, which I don't tend to use. Uh, you can destroy a vessel, which can be pretty fun. Enable your heat editor, and you can also... Uh, choose which buttons you want to be boost, but I never used boost. I do need to go back to a ship though real quick. Not one that is... Okay, I need you. You're the one I need. Alt H. Misc tools. That's what I was looking for. If you are on a ship, it will give you resources that you can change. So if you run out of electrical charge, you can open your hype reddit, Slam it all the way back up, model print, liquid fuel, oxidizer, no matter what it is, you can set it to what you need it to be at to be able to finish that burn you were using, you were doing, or things like that. I'm going to try the ship lander one more time. See if that change, set to current, load. Nope, that was not what I wanted to hit. Land here. Nope, didn't fix it. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was the new updated tutorial on hyper edit i hope you guys are able to get it installed now i hope you guys enjoy using it and for the next kerbal space program video i am looking for crafts that you guys want to see reviewed i'm on the kerbal space program page and i will be looking for them there too so i hope you guys enjoy this video and until next time bye